Hi everyone, this is Ram Farmer from Tika Global Customer Support Team. In this video, we'll see, uh, it's a part one video, we'll talk about file listener in Cloud B2B or ISCs. The main agenda of this video is, what is a file listener, where we use file listener, and where to check the file listener runs. Now, what is a file listener? So, it is a component in ISCs which listens to the files on a particular folder or directory. There are three file events. So, those three are arrives, is updated, is deleted. While showing demo, I will show you that. Next, where we use file listener. So, it is basically used in task flows, file ingestion tasks, and B2B gateway partners. So, in task flows, again, there are two at the start of the task flow we can use, or we can use at the middle of the task flow. That we can discuss in the next part. Next, when any file event happens, then we can configure to start the about all. That means on a particular folder, if any file arrives, deleted or updates, then we can configure to start the task flows or file ingestion task or B2B gateway partner. So in so in order to start, so we use file listener. Next to start a file listener, it needs to be associated with the task. Otherwise, you will get error. error. That means you have created a file listener in an ISCS console data integration. And if you start directly, you, you cannot start a file listener because it should be associated to a task. Next, you need to have read file listener and run file listener privileges to assign a file listener to the assets. This is very important one. You need to, you can check this in the admin and uh, console, the administrator console of IACS under users. Next, where to check the file listener runs. Now, after running, now this I will show you practically. File events can be viewed under monitor page, file transfer logs. So whatever the file events that occur, for example, it got arrived, it got updated or deleted, you can see under file transfer logs and file listener related entries. If you want any entries, we can check under Informatica MFT.log, which is present in uh, Informatica Cloud Security apps, mass ingestion runtime logs directory. Next, a snapshot file will be there. So it will be created for every file listener. So whatever the, if you have created one file listener in ISCS, the corresponding snapshot file will be created. So that snapshot file will be present in uh, app, uh, apps, mass instance runtime, data monitor file. So what is the use of this snapshot file? This we'll discuss in the next part. Now, let me start the demo. Now, this is a data integration. So I'll log into data integration. Now, uh, so you can see um, this is a data integration. Now I am going to create a file listener. Now how to create a file listener? I will show you. So click on new. Uh, so I have created a project and inside that I have created a file listener folder. Now click on file, new, components. Now you can go to components or you can click on tasks. Let me create one more time. Now you can click on new and you can click on the components. You can see task is we will have mapping task and everything. Components, you can see file listener. If you see here, create a listener that listens to files that arrive at a specific location to be used in mass ingestion task or other task. Now click on create. Now I'm going to create a name. So I'm going to create demo two. Okay. Now your value is required for them location so you in which project you want to store you need to give that location now i am going to uh, store in file listener folder next to runtime environment so unless you send till uh, now if I, I selected runtime environment now there will be source type so source type is nothing but connector and server now you if you want a connector you can use a connectors that means local folder it will be there or any other connector if you want you can use so i am going with the connector Server means if you want any AH2 server or HTTP SFTP server, you can click on that. So once you select the server source type, then you cannot change. Again, if you want to change this, again, you need to click cancel and again, you need to uh, select everything. Next, you can see after selecting source type, then based on the source type, you can see all the data will be listed here. Now, connection type, I am going to use a local folder. Local folder is nothing but the folder which is present on the Informatica uh, cloud security. Now here, so the folder location, I'm going to give, so I have created a folder C colon FL2. Okay, let me re-verify that uh, path. Now the path is correct and wildcard. So you can see pattern type, you can give a wildcard. That means if you give star, then everything will be uh, like whatever the files, if you have created, then everything will be picked up. And all files will be picked up now. Check for files in subfolders. Now, if you see right, 
So this is a for subfolders. Now, if you want, you can select this. Uh, that means in FL2, if there are any subfolders, if you want, check in that location also, file is arrived or not. So then you can use this. I am using a star. That means if I create with any name, any extension, then the file will be picked up. That means uh, uh, then the file will be picked up by the file listener. Now, post action. That means after completing, if you want to keep, uh, if you want to keep or if you want to delete. So I am keeping none. That means I want to keep the files. Now, notify when file arrives is updated is deleted. That means when file arrives or when file update or deleted in this FL2 location, I wanted to notify. That means I wanted to start the FL or something. So that is what notify when file. So if I get these events, these are the three events that I told in the PPT. Now stop checking if rules are met. That means this option is like if uh, if a file arrives in the first instance itself, so then you don't need to you stop the FL directly. You don't need to check. Uh, you don't need to run the FL again. Check file stability. That means uh, this will be like stability check interval. So 10, 10 seconds is a default one. That means like the file, for example, any file that got arrived, it will check for stability. That means that file is not updating within the 10 seconds. If it is updating, then it will then the file is not won't pick up because it is not stable. It is getting updated. So that's the use of this property. I am keeping check file stability by default. It will be 10. Next, notify files exist on the first run. That means if whatever the files that are present already, that means if the files are already present in the first run itself, then if you want to, if you want those files to be picked up, the file is there, you can check this option. Exclude events when the file listener is not running. That means two files have arrived and the file listener is not running. Then if you, uh, if you start the file listener later, then those two files should not pick up. If you want the, those two files should not be picked up when the file listener is not running, then you can check this option. These options like demo, we can see in the next parts. I'm just telling about the theory here. Next schedule, you can see run daily. So I'm keeping daily. If you want, you can start by default. The start time will be the current date on which the file you are going to create. And it will start from the morning till 2355. Okay, so it will check for every 15 seconds. By default, it will be 15 seconds only. The maximum, the minimum amount of time. And you can increase up to 55 seconds. After that, you can increase minutes, hours also. Now I am going to keep 15 seconds. In time zone, I am going to keep as IST. Next, failure management. Continue to run and failure. So if you check this option, even the failure happens, it will continue to run. Send a notification on failure. If I check this, then you can write your email address here. If I don't check this, you cannot write here. Now let me save this effort. Now I save this effort. So this is how uh, you wanted to create an FL. And this is a use case of FL. Now this FL I have created, first simply start. Now you can see unable to start file listener is not associated to any task. That means this FL I need to associate to a task flow or a file patch task or a B2B gateway part. That how to assign that we see in the next steps in the next part now in order to just to show like uh, where the logs as i told in the ppt it, uh, the logs you can check like the events you can check in the file transfer logs so i logged into monitor and file transfer logs on the left side now this is the one fl that i already ran so this is the one if you see fl so i kept two files in this in the in the fl location now, if you see like a uh, dem and dem2.txt, I kept previously. Okay. So when you keep this, the two events got updated. Okay. So if you see here, file listener has been started by user. You can see that username will get and state it is still running. So it got arrived. Next, when it is updated, you can see here and when it is deleted, you can see here. Okay. Now, So this is a video demo, like uh, basically file listener is used to, like it will listen to a particular location. And if any file event happens that you have defined at the file listener, it will start the corresponding task flow or it will start the corresponding uh, B2B gateway partner or it will start the corresponding uh, mass ingestion task. So uh, the uh, like if you want to, how to configure to the task flow and file watch task that I will discuss in the next part. Now, the references for you is you can go through this uh, where it talks about the basic understanding of the file listener. And if you if you want to provide your feedback, you can provide it support with the set informatica.com. Thank you for watching this video.